Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Governor Kim Reynolds. much. Thank you. It is so great to be back here and to see a room full of people. Thanks Big Jim and Marilyn for hosting today. We love it. We love being back up here. You all know how to turn out and we're counting on you to continue turning out. Uh, it really makes a difference when we're running up the score uh, in, the, in the election in November. So thanks uh, for being here and thanks for really supporting and encouraging and most importantly for all of us elected officials and, and those running for office. Thank you for your continued prayers. I want to tell you it makes a difference. We are counting on it. We've got a lot of challenges ahead of us. So just keep those prayers coming and I promise you we're going to keep working hard on your behalf. I just want to say too, thank you for being here and supporting Randy. Uh, he is a phenomenal public servant. He has a servant's heart. He uh, is not only a great public servant, but he's also a very good friend of mine. I think he's going to talk about it a little bit too, but we go way back. Uh, we actually served in local government together. Uh, we were both county treasurers, and then we both ran in 2008, and I don't know if you remember back to that election, but there wasn't very many Republicans that made it through in 2008, but both uh, Randy and I were able to uh, successfully win that election. So I had the opportunity to work with him in the Iowa State Senate, and then I had the opportunity to work with him as a governor, uh, and he was serving as, still serving as a state senator, and look at him now, but I can tell you, I worked with Randy on our first tax reform bill, and that guy is tenacious when it comes to cutting taxes and standing up for taxpayers. I think he was down in that office every single day with a different way that we could approach it, where we could get to. And I can say, you know, truly, because of his work that he put in on that first historic tax bill, it really laid the foundation for me to have the opportunity working with the phenomenal legislature that we have in place, uh, majorities in both the House and the Senate. This year I signed into law my third, our third tax cut it, since taking office in 2018. We're gonna go from the sixth highest to the fourth lowest. We're not gonna tax your retirement income starting next year and we're phasing out the inheritance tax. So we're making great progress and we're not done. So I can also say without hesitation, he is a true, true champion for life, for families, for taxpayers, for agriculture. He has led on ag, uh, representing us out in Washington, D.C. And just to have that partnership and that coordination for an industry that is so very important to this state, it's nice to know that we have a delegation uh, representing us in Washington, D.C. that has those same uh, values. He also, I mean, he works hard. He's everywhere. This is a big district. He listens to the individuals that he serves, and he respects the people that he serves. But you know, behind every great representative, every public servant is an amazing wife and family. So Lynette and to the family, thank you for letting us have Randy. I know it's hard with the family when they're out in Washington, D.C. So thanks for supporting him, standing behind him, and just encouraging him and allowing us to have him as our representative out in Washington, D.C. So we better give this lady and this family a big round of applause. We also, we also need his, just his experience and his expertise uh, when it comes to pushing back on this administration and, and what we're seeing. And I am telling you, we need somebody that's willing to go to the mat and push back. And as I travel the state and as I've talked to many of you today, Iowans are sick and tired of just the incompetency and the insanity that we're seeing coming out of Washington, D.C. You heard it. You will continue to hear it from every single speaker because I don't think we can say it enough. 
off, whether it is skyrocketing inflation, soaring gas and food prices, um, supply chain disruptions, for heaven's sakes, that is impacting our small businesses, our farmers. When we are flying in formula to feed our babies, you have to step back and say, is this the United States of America or is this a third world country? Get it together. It's the United States of America. We deserve better. You better, right? Yeah. You know open borders and what we see every day with that, the guns, the drugs, the human smuggling that's taking place. It is an all-out assault on our liberty, freedom, and life. And here's what I truly believe. Uh, this is kind of their, their, their goal and, and their mission, that whatever it takes, whatever it costs, they are fundamentally trying to change who and what we are as a country. And uh, we need strong leaders like Randy to continue to push back. But what I'm so proud of in Iowa is the fact that we have leaders like Randy, Republican leaders who are showing Iowans in the country every single day what conservative leadership looks like. We are standing up and pushing back, and we are really empowering people over government, and that starts with personal and economic freedom. And in Iowa, that meant cutting taxes. In Iowa, that meant getting people back to work. You know, guess what? It turns out when you pay people to stay home, they stay home. So we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to empower people, help them get the skills and get them back to work. We're gonna turn unemployment into reemployment. We've limited the number of months that they can be on unemployment from over six down to four, and we're gonna to continue to do everything we can to get people back to work sooner. It also means that we're fighting hard for safe communities. You see what's happening across this country, but we took a different route. In Iowa, working with the legislature, we stood with and behind our law enforcement. And we said, thank you for putting your lives on the line every single day to keep Iowans and our communities safe. <laughs> and lastly, um, we're, we're putting parents back in charge. We kept our businesses open through COVID. We kept our kids in school. We said no to mask and vaccine mandates. We said no to critical race theory. We said we're gonna protect girls' sports for girls, and we're gonna continue to fight to not only make sure that we have a strong public school system, but we are also gonna make sure that parents have a choice in where their child gets their education. So, as I wrap up here, I just want to say, too, our fiscal health is strong. Our national profile is rising. It was an honor to tell Iowa's story in the response to the condition of the state. So thank you for giving me that story to share uh, with the entire country. And for the second year in a row, we are the number one state for opportunity. So I think it's fair to say that elections matter. Elections have consequences. And as I wrap up, I just want to say, don't lose sight of that, because I think we've seen how fast things can go downhill and how bad things can get in a relatively short time frame. So I am here to say this kind of energy, this kind of support, support to encourage Randy and to support him and to get him reelected, we can't let up. You got to keep running strong. You got to stay engaged right through November. So we make sure that we get him reelected. Look what he's done in the minority. Think what he can do when he's in the majority. That tenacious, we're going to see it uh, on full display. So help us elect Republicans. Republicans up and down the ticket. We have a phenomenal opportunity uh, this November to flip some state wides, to re-elect Randy, to send four Republicans to Congress, to expand our majorities in the legislature, and again, take back some state wides. Uh, you got a couple of them here with Brenna Bird and uh, and uh, Robbie Smith. I don't know. I think he's still here. So, yep, they're right in front of me. There we go. I'm telling you, they are everywhere. They're working hard. I could sure use 
both of them uh, in our statewide uh, in this next election. So help us get it done. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your prayers. Help us keep Iowa red and let's expand on what we're already doing and we're gonna continue to work hard on your behalf. God bless you.